seeing all of these different athletes come through and you know for five to seven years you've probably seen some of these guys go on to college graduate college mm-hmm. too right yeah and see them do great things what do you think is some of the strengths that hawaii has you know like i think we've all seen you know even like what marcus tua all these quarterbacks dylan gabriel you know we've seen that hawaii can compete in any position any sport you know we have all these other sports too that more hawaii athletes are making their name um, in those sports so what do you think some of the strengths are for hawaii athletes um, that you've seen through coaching for hawaii athletes you know it's just i think it's it's the toughness Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. it's the toughness and then when um you mix that with some speed yeah. You know, and and like like we talked about the training, mm-hmm. you know, when we were in high school, we weren't introduced to a lot of the explosive yeah. training, cleans mm-hmm. and speed work, right? Mm-hmm. But now, when you kick that in, and where Hawaii's at now, and look yeah. what these athletes are, yeah. you know, because that's what we were always behind. I felt like is the speed, right? You would have to go college, and we, that's why we didn't see a lot of skills coming out probably uh-huh. back then, mm-hmm. is because we were behind in the. I feel like the training. Mm-hmm with the speed work so and now where these hawaii athletes are you know we're incorporating that and we're doing it now Mm -hmm. it's like we're putting us on a speed level yes you know where we're a little ahead and it's and it's and it's helping kids go places and play right away right Uh and then when you mix that with the toughness Mm -hmm. like we talked about and just you know and with that and i think that really puts us you know ahead of the game yes in some areas right Mm -hmm. So I think Hawaii kids are tough when it comes to football, you know? Yeah, definitely. Definitely yeah. Hawaii kids, they come or that's the, you know, that's instilled. And, and that's in what Hawaii team. football was known for too, yes. right? Back in back in when June Jones, they were always hitting guys, right? Guys yeah. used to love the kickoff team. Yeah. You know, when we used to kick off, they used to be run down, smack guys, <laughs> jump over piles, right? Just, yeah. just crazy in a yeah. sense, right? Yeah. So I think, yeah, Hawaii kids are tough, man. Yeah. And, um, and humble you know mm-hmm. we're hum- a lot of humble athletes and it helps you know that mental game just yes. you know it helps and keeping it cool calm you know yeah. and and humble and you get respected you know yeah. you become uh you have those good leadership traits and the, the guys you talked about manti mm-hmm. uh mariota's out there right and tua and yeah. a lot more others like the forest mm-hmm. all yes, nice yes. humbling guys you yeah. know yeah. so i mean yeah the hawaii athletes you know so with that trait, they listen, they want to learn, uh-huh. they're respectable, and they go out there and they do their job, you know? Uh-huh. So I think that's some of the traits we carry out in Hawaii. That's definitely really true. And, you know, think about all the kids that you've coached, right? All of those qualities that you've said, and I've noticed this too, is that the guys that really are invested in getting better or, you know, they aspire to play at the next level, they're really coachable. Like, they're going to listen, right? Mm-hmm. So that kind of... It goes back with what you're saying like if we give them the right resources give them the right training right do you find that too with your athletes that you work with like a lot of these athletes just because of the culture in hawaii their upbringing they're really coachable and they're like soaking up everything that you're trying to teach them yeah definitely mm-hmm. yeah i've been lucky to have you know a lot of great student athletes mm-hmm. that i coached then you know never gave me a hard time always listen and always wanted to learn and uh-huh. as a coach you know that that's what gets you you know um that's what gets you st- stuck coaching that season after season is the kids you know it's like yeah. you feel the want and you feel the you know the want to get better uh-huh. and it makes you as a coach want to be there the next day and be there the next day and the next day after that and you're thinking of things that you could do maybe mm-hmm. put in or implement you know mm-hmm. to help each kid get better yeah. So. so in your future, is coaching that you want to do and stay around sports, you know, for as long as you can? What What's kind of your your plans with coaching? Um, it all depends, you know, <laughs> like I love coaching and I'm 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 able to coach right now, mm-hmm. you know, but it could change. You never know, mm-hmm. you know, what could uh, happen in life job wise mm-hmm. or family wise. Right. Yes. So. But I want to coach as long as I can and as long as the kids, you know, want to take my knowledge, you know. Uh For any of, you know, future student athletes out there, or even people that maybe they're going on their journey, right? They're trying to get recruited in college. Maybe they're in college playing sports. What's 
what's some of your messages that you pass on to your players that you think can help other people too? I know I've told a couple kids, you know, like, besides, you know, having to, you know, do your things that you need to do, like mm -hmm. stay in school, do your schoolwork, right? Keep up your grades. Yeah. Uh, don't do anything dumb. Mm -hmm. But it's just one of the things that I learned is just you're having a clear mind and it's the mind, body, soul, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Having a good head, mm -hmm. um, taking care of your body, mm -hmm. and just being being there mentally, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. If you can have those three three things aligned, I feel like I feel like things, yeah, mind, body, soul. Yeah, I mean that's a great message too, and I like how you touched on like you know take care of the things that you need to in order to play sports because yeah. even like academics right i mean is there stuff that you share about that too because you know sometimes you get so focused on sports that you know they might push academics on the side right mm -hmm. but really you should always focus in academics because i mean that teaches you a lot of life mm -hmm. lessons kind of if a lot of athletes could take their work ethic and preparation for sports and apply that to the classroom, you can do even more great things, right? Mm -hmm. So is there anything that you've helped some of the athletes that, you know, maybe they're struggling a little bit more in the classroom? What's kind of some of the advice that you can pass on to athletes to really, you know, stay on top of the classroom, schoolwork, and make sure you take care of that business too? Yeah, just schoolwork is always important because mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's what you're gonna do later in life you know mm -hmm. sports always comes to an end so you always got to have that you know if if the your dreams the nba and nfl you always got to have the backup plan mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and you never know what could happen i think school is that's what you're prepping for you know mm -hmm. you're prepping for something you want to do later you know mm -hmm. so it's like figure out what you want to do what your major might want to be uh -huh. or you know or even just you know, school is kind of like work, you know what I mean? So <laughs> yes. dedicate yourself to it, get used to it, get a feel for it, mm -hmm. um, take care, stay committed. Mm -hmm. You know, can you finish, no. you know? Yeah, just prepping for the next stages. Yes, that's my follow-up question to you. At UH, you know, how was the academic side? What was your major? I don't even know what your major is, but yeah. what was that um, experience like for you, you know, being a college student athlete? It was a. Uh, it was good. It was uh, my major was. I ended up doing sociology because okay. it was one of the things that kind of fit. You know, it, helped, it fit the schedule. For us, yes. You know, football Playing is a little sports different. Yeah. yeah. So I like some. I wanted to try business. I don't know if I'd have been able to do it, but uh -huh. when I was a freshman, that's the one I really wanted to pick. Okay. But it was just it didn't align with classes mm -hmm. and um, football. Mm -hmm. You know, in the mm -hmm. afternoon and when we have meetings and mm -hmm. film and stuff. So I ended up doing sociology, but yeah, and then sociology was it was nice, you know. We got a lot of help. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of our uh, my teammates all took sociology too. Got it. So you know, we all worked together. Mm -hmm. We all has had t t tutor groups and stuff yep. like that. So schoolwork wasn't too uh, too taxing, you know. Mm -hmm. But it was still tough to balance, you know, two yes. sports and the school. Yes. You know, always being gone, mm -hmm. missing a lot of my uh, tutor sessions, you know, mm -hmm. that I would have mm -hmm. in the off seasons of football, but being gone for basketball, mm -hmm. you know, so, or just try to make it work or keep up. Yeah. So it was tough, but, you know, I was able to get through. Yeah. 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 I know I mean, a lot of thank yous to uh -huh. tutors that had to, you know, yeah. help, help more and probably off hours, you know. Mm -hmm. That says a lot is like, you know, you have to juggle and time manage all of this stuff, the demands of sports, practices, training, and schoolwork, and you know, you still find a way to get it done. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the that's a great message is, you know, just try to make sure that you're taking care of everything that you need to take care yeah. of so that you can actually play your sport, right, that you love. Yeah, and it's, t and you know, it's, it's tough and it sucks, mm -hmm. but you know, you just battle through mm -hmm. doing your schoolwork, mm -hmm. battle through, you know, not being able to maybe do something with your friends to finish that assignment. Uh -huh. And then, but little do you know is you're training yourself, right? Mm -hmm. You're training yourself to, you know, push through, finish something, uh -huh. you know take care of your your business take care of your priorities mm -hmm. and then you know so you're aligning just like being able to schedule things and 
without even knowing it, right? Yes. Or when things get tough, instead of, ah, and then, you know, you mm -hmm. take care of it, you push through, and mm -hmm. all those little traits, you're sharpening without knowing it. Yes. And, you know, when you get older, you're like, you look back like, ooh, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, so it's just like, I use that today. It's just like, when should I take care of things mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. and create a open gap, or should I take some time mm -hmm. now and have less gap there, you know? Yeah. And it's just like, and when you take care of it, Mm -hmm. And then you have that gap. It's like life's even more wonderful, right? So yes. it's like, it's just, you know, you're learning all types of mm -hmm. traits. Yes. Positive traits. You Positive know? traits. Yeah, definitely a lot of things through school that we can take away and just apply it. I mean, even for myself too, a lot of the things that I've learned, you know, applying it, yeah. even things like this, making you know, a podcast or whatever it is, you know, to apply some of the things that you've learned to help you do more and help others more too, right? Yeah.